the center of the great Persian Empire, ceremonial capital of the Achaemenians, and the showpiece of Achaemenian art. So I, Ahura Mazda, the almighty God, have chosen thee, Cyrus. I have taken thee by the hand. I have called thy name. And I have made thee master of the earth. hill in the south of Iran, approximately 500 kilometers from the Persian Gulf, stands the most supreme creation of antiquity, Persepolis. In its time of beauty, grandeur, splendor and significance, it marked the culminating achievement of the ancient Near East. It tells the story of a nation's rise to fame and glory, and then the tragic tale of jealousy and revenge. Whatever your motivation to visit this ancient masterpiece, its story won't leave you unchanged. The detail in artwork and the depth of symbolism represents the sophistication and intelligence of a very special people. The recurring theme of bull and lion seems to represent the old versus the new order. But perhaps the most telling inscription would be the one at the entrance to the platform, where King Darius wrote, This is the country Persia which Ahura Mazda gave me, which is beautiful, possessing good horses, possessing good men. Let Ahura Mazda bear me aid and protect this country from an evil host, from famine, from deceit. Formerly here, a fortress had not been built. By the grace of Ahura Mazda, this fortress I built, and I built it secure and beautiful.
be one of the most beautiful museums in Tehran today. It's built on this natural plateau overlooking the Alborz Mountains. You see, if you thought you're going to come to Iran for a good, strong espresso, you're mistaken. Well, they have coffee shops, but they serve tea, chai tea. And there's quite a ritual to it. Let's see. So you say, chai dar es de kane kamar bari, which means tea in a cup with a thin waist. There's a saying in Iran, Esfahan, Nesfah Jahan, which means Esfahan is half the world. And surely its beauty, charm and splendor have cast strange and marvelous spells over many visitors. means 40 pillars and the number 40 signifies abundance and multiplicity in Iranian literature. The symbolism then of this design is that the 20 pillars on this porch would be reflected in the pool beyond, thereby creating an impression of 40 pillars in the viewer's mind. Chahalsatun Palace was built in Chahalsatun Gardens and it was used mainly for the purposes of foreign entertaining and for foreign dignitaries.